top right hand corner is where the Red Terran is currently spawning makes a noise for our Maru. And the mastermind of Protoss. In the blue, it's Max Pax for Team Axon. Oh, this series has gone way, way more far than everybody was expecting. Team X and Team NV tied 3 3 after a beautiful show this far. But all will end here and now between these two players. Where is he? Um, both players go for a little bit of um, a standard opener, considering who are we seeing right now? Well, <laughs> never mind, Maru. Why do you always have to do this, man? Of course, Max Best will go ahead and get some scouting information with his pro Maru with an NG Bay block. This used to be uh, an incredibly good. Uh, transition into um, some early rushes since uh, the later nexus can usually get you a little bit ahead in the tech department. Max Max will instead just take the fur base, just place the nexus there. So I'm gonna need score after. He's not really too scared about this uh, this block. He doesn't really want to slow down his build order for this. Oh wow, that's uh, that's an interesting bunker. Oh, this game is already getting sparks. Maru cancels the NGB. Max Pax will have to cancel this Nexus most likely. I don't see, I don't really see any way to break that down. These e oh wait, okay, never mind. You just cancel it. Yeah, probably just Chrono Boost in one cell. It was enough now that I think about it. The SCB was very bruised. Uh, no units were anywhere near that bunker. So Maru will have to leave that position B. While he kills this uh, little probe. He was trying to make his run. It's gonna be a Hellions. For now. And an early tech lab. It's probably gonna be just some kind of drop. Uh, Maru can easily exploit. Actually, double racks, no drops here. Uh, Maru can easily exploit that these uh, quotes natural base my max specs is actually very exposed. Uh, it's on the third base position. It's not on the high ground. It's very easy to reach. There's not much to defend it. There's no shield batteries yet. Uh, these two aliens are easily making their way there without. Any real contents, um, cont anything real to contest them. That's the words. Uh, they go straight into the main, actually. Uh, the Sulkers are way too slow, but these aliens are already getting some kills. Actually, it's going to be three, maybe four, or even five. Yeah, just four kills with two aliens. That's actually pretty insane from Maru. That's a lot of damage with very, very little expense. It looks like two more Hellions are making their way out, but Maru will just not scout. A little pylon in the top left. Steam gets started. The music has stopped. The freedom is stands. Maru will get into the, the natural of Max Pex. Two shield batteries up already. Uh, it looks like it's uh, game over for these Hellions. Not really too much they can do. A Twilight Council gets started, there's a bunker over here, but Shades don't really care about bunkers, do they? And uh, it's going to be an interesting attack on the side of Max Pax 2, Stalkers 3 adapts. Oh my goodness, that Widowman shot killed a lot of SCVs. Well, didn't really kill them, but they're very low. Still, the adapts will be cleared. The proxy pylon play gets not scouted yet. Uh, Max Pax is trying to double it down here with the deaths, trying to get even more damage. Of course, these SCVs are incredibly bruised. So that's probably 
a good play. He's a little bit too scared about the Widow Mines. These Marines will come in to clear everything up. The Bunker will surely help with these. Here comes the Widow Mine to the help. And he's going to be one salad, one of that caught out. Of course, there's a lot of Marines. This attack will get cleared. Two SAVs go down. In the meanwhile, the Hellions on the other side of the map trying to get something done. But of course, the Shield Battery will prevent that altogether. Dark Shrine incoming. No fur base on Max back side. It really, really looks like the Protoss player is going for a little bit of a desperation play. Uh, if it finds difficult uh, to actually stay on par with a player such as Maru as far as macro go. Uh, but it looks like Maru is trying to play a little bit more of an aggressive playstyle. Combo shields get started. There's a lot of racks already with 2-1-1 being his uh, build order. So he's trying to get as much stuff as possible out right now. Blink is on the making and there's already quite a while, quite um, a good amount of stalkers out on the map. The pylon in the bottom right and one in the top left, well in the middle right, one in the top left. Maxpex is really trying to contain Maru as of now. Uh, but I think the time is probably over for this kind of mind games with a lot of medivacs already being produced. By the Terran player, there's bound to be a lot of mobility in this Terran army, which will easily get this pilot in the top left. The one in the right, of course, gets us scouted. It's time for Dark Templars. But there's quite a lot of energy already. Um, no missile turrets, not really a lot of scouting on Maru's side. He's really playing these a little bit too defensively, with just the Hellions getting some information, but not getting in main for quite a while. And now it looks like Maru is looking for a move out. But the Dark Templars will be completely surrounded and scanned. It's four kills. And is it enough? Yeah, I highly doubt it. Maru marching through the map. Max Pex will try for desperation defense. Of course, the side blockers have been this heck a lot. Shield Battery Overcharge gets used to keep these stalkers alive. But the Shield Battery gets immediately destroyed. But the army of the Terran was now steaming and steaming on top of its Nexus. Another shield battery over there, but shield battery overcharge is in cooldown right now. The tanks are a little bit out of position, but this robot is unpowered. GG gets gold and Maru will get the series for Team NV.